before I go into this rapture stuff, I just, I was uh, led to this by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so I just want to let all people know this. We are regarded, this is Corinthian, 1 Corinthians. We are regarded as Christ's subordinates and as stewards of the secrets of God. Now stewards are required to show themselves trustworthy. To me it matters not at all if I am called to account by you or by any human court, nor do I pass judgment on myself, for I have nothing on my conscience. But that does not prove me innocent. My judge is the Lord. So pass no premature judgment. Wait until the Lord comes. He will bring light to what darkness hides and disclosure and disclose our inward motives. So our intent then will be the time for each to receive commendation, commendation from the Lord. So, <clears throat> you know, I did those videos about Jonathan Cleck and how he was teaching a, a, a evil doctrine in which he was. And, um, and he says in his videos, you know, those who don't accept the Lord are going to go to hell. That's what he said. So something like that is passing uh, premature judgment because we don't know why everybody is in the situation they're in. Maybe they haven't, you know, the Lord hasn't been revealed to them. Maybe they don't know anything about Jesus Christ or maybe tr things bad have happened to them. The point is, don't condemn people and judge people in this context, okay? So don't do that. But when the Lord gets here, he will look at everybody's intent right here. He will look at the intent and why people did what they did. So now let's talk about this rapture thing. And you guys, as far as like the, um, you know, the 717 thing, um, you know, you guys, I thought that, you know, the scripture that said that because you are children of the light, that you will, that day won't overtake you like a thief, but we don't know the day or the hour. And knowing what day the rapture is, you guys, is not important, okay? And what that scripture means, I think it was revealed to me, is that on the day, on the day of the Lord, or the day that we do, when that does happen, we will, something inside of our being, our, like an internal clock will go off on that day. Like we will know that day when it happens, okay? But not before. And... So, if we look at Amos 5, you guys, look at what is hap look at what is happening. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? So, the scripture is saying how, what is going to happen in the day of the Lord for you? Have you been, have you been obedient to the Lord? Have you... Are, are you where you need to be, you know? Have you repented? The day of the Lord is darkness, not light. It's going to be darkness, you guys. This isn't going to be a good thing when this happens. Now, um, I will elaborate. Okay, so let's look at First Thessalonians, you guys, okay? For this, for this we say to you, okay, let me highlight this. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain, okay, look at this, alive and remain, unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ, now let's take a mental note of this, the dead in Christ will rise first, then we which are alive and remain, so why would he say the alive and remain? 
shall be caught up together to meet um, them in the clouds to be with the Lord forever. Now, you guys look at, I want to show you something. The dead in Christ, now you guys remember that what we are waiting for, what is about to happen is the millennial reign on earth. There's going to be a kingdom on earth. The, the new, the heavenly, um, the new Jerusalem, you guys, is coming after, when God will dwell with human beings, is coming after the thousand year reign, and then Satan will be let out again after the thousand year reign. But, look at this, you guys, okay? So, this is Revelation chapter 20, almost at the end. And then I saw an angel come down from heaven with the key to the abyss. And in an enormous chain, he overpowered the dragon, primeval serpent, Satan, chained him up for a thousand years and threw him into the abyss, okay? Then, then I saw some thrones, and I saw those who were given power to be judges. Okay, these are the people, the children of God. Take their seats on them. I saw the souls, I saw the souls of all who had been beheaded. For having witnessed for Jesus and for having preached God's word and those who refused to worship the beast or his statue and would not have the brand mark on their foreheads or hands they came to life the ones who had been beheaded came to life and reign with Christ for a thousand years. This is the first resurrection. The rest of the dead did not come to life until a thousand years were over. Happy and blessed are those who share in the first resurrection. Then, after a thousand years, then there's a second battle, which is Gog and Magog. Okay, and then punishment of the pagans, and then 21 verse 21 is when the new he new heaven and the new Jerusalem will come to earth okay so <clears throat> you guys that dead in Christ rising the ones who have beheaded that is at the sound of the last trumpet I mean not the well it does say at the last trump but in this scripture And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Okay? Oh, man. Those who are alive... Sorry, I gotta let this... Those who are alive and remain. And we which are alive and remain... You see that? Alive and remain. And how it said at the very end in Revelation chapter 20 that the dead in Christ, um, the ones that were beheaded, will be raised. And those who are alive and remain, why would Paul say alive and remain? Because there's not very many people left. And if we look at so you guys were looking for something that is going to come that's already inside of us you guys the rapture is going to happen but when he says that when he says you guys that um, well, here, look at this. The Pharisees asked him, When will the kingdom of God come? He answered, You cannot tell by observation when the kingdom of God comes. You cannot say, Look, here it is, or there it is, for the kingdom of God is among you, and that means in you as well. He said to his disciples, The time will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and will not see it, they will say to you, Look there! 
Remember all these rapture days, you know? And look here! Do not go running off in pursuit. For like lightning flash that lights up the earth from end to end, will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must endure much suffering and be rejected by this generation. Must be rejected by this generation. As it was in the day of Noah, so it will be the coming of the Son of Man. Okay, this is when the Son of Man is revealed. And this might be, you guys, this is, I'm sure it's talking, I'm pretty sure it's talking about David, the anointed. But, you guys, this kingdom, what the most important thing that we do, you guys, is bring the kingdom that is in us out into the world showing people love teaching people the commandments talk preaching these things you guys that's the most important thing it's not about it's not about watching for the rapture day you guys that's not important now look at this you guys look at you know how it says People say, oh, well, it says to watch in in the Bible. But what my Bible says is, it says, stay awake. Where everybody says, um, it says, keep watch. My Bible says, stay awake. That's meaning, like, don't go back to your old, here, look watch in hebrew you guys it's not like watch isn't like just like this like oh keep watching for the day oh it's not this day it's the next day no it does it's not saying that you guys that's that's our interpretation of watch this is what watch is in hebrew a division of night the night was originally divided into three watch but later into four as we find in the new testament Matthew and Mark, we do not know the limits of watches in the first division, but the middle watch probably began two hours before midnight and endured or ended two hours after. Okay. This is a watch. And then look at this. Air the 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 scripture that says therefore keep watch for you will not know because you do not know when the day of the son of man comes it's actually stay awake that means it's saying like don't fall back into your ways you know guard the word to keep this is like to guard to protect Okay, so it's not saying watch out for that day every day. It's saying guard, protect, you know, protect uh, what you've learned. Keep watch, you know, keep watch, keep protect, keep, keep guard on what you have learned in the scriptures in Jesus Christ. And you guys, I would admit, like, you know, I... When, when I was told about that 717 thing and then the Lord showed, put my eyes on that picture that that girl had drawn me when Genevieve was saying something about, um, there was two mountains. She said, um, the Lord had revealed to her that there was two mountains and he's going to take one of us, gather us together on one of those mountains, the mountain of salvation. And you guys, the, the, the gathering together is different than the rapture and another thing i want to say you guys is um is uh hold on woe unto you that desire the day of the lord See, this is stuff that's been revealed to me too, you guys. I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm trying to correct us, all of us. 
Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? That day is darkness, not light. A lot of people are going to be going down. You guys, you know what? If if you're if you want to go to this wedding in this rapture, do you know that what you do from now until then, the people that the 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 truth that you bring into the world, the people that you minister to, the people that you pray for, do you know those are your that's how much brilliance you have? That's going to be your decoration on your garments. It's not about knowing the day, you guys, and it's about living in love and, and living the word. Do you guys know when it says in Revelation, it talks about those who are in front of the Lord, you guys? Here, I'll show you. Those, you know, listen to this. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count. This is Revelation 7. Okay? So here in 7 is the sealing. Okay, these people are sealed. Sealed. God's children. Rewarding of the saints. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, tribe, race, tribe, language, and they were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb dressed in white robes holding palms in their hands they shout they shouted aloud victory to our god who sits on the throne so you guys when we read this we think that oh it's going to be literally us sitting before the lord on the throne and giving um like we're literally going to be there at this time at, at number seven we're literally going to be there at one point but that's later on but this part in seven you guys do you know that the children of god that they worship that that they worship him in truth and in spirit and that when you become truly saved and you become sealed your soul come gets brought into the presence of the lord into the heavenly courts so like if you're really truly saved and you're anointed and sealed you're already in the court system so you are worshiping there in the courts in spirit and in truth and that's how you have the truth in you so you can already be in this spot before the throne and still be alive here on earth in your conscious down here. Now those who are going to see. And then see after chapter 7. It's the seventh seal. It's the trumpets. You know this is all tribulations. The last punishment. You know the vision of the dragon. The angel announces the day of judgment. But then when you get to 20. Then this is when the dead in Christ rise. Who have been beheaded and they came to life the resurrection of the dead not happening until chapter 20 in the reign of a thousand years this is the millennial reign this is what's going to be on earth you guys We're, we are going to be in the presence of the Lord in heaven the ones that are sealed but that's our soul like our spirit where our bodies are still going to be in on this earth you guys doing stuff just like we're doing today for the millennial reign but see this is when all the evil is going to be gone this is what we're going into you guys this heavenly Jerusalem is not until the second battle then Gog and Magog chapter 21 in this when this happens you guys this is when the holy city the new jerusalem coming down from god out of heaven see but you guys look at all this stuff that has to go before 20 before the the millennial reign the fall of babylon plagues so you guys we're going to be we're going to be through this stuff okay but 
when it says that God's children are not appointed to wrath, that just means it doesn't affect them. His wrath isn't going to come upon them. It is, it's, it means you're going to be protected. It doesn't mean that you're not going to be in close proximity to it or that you're in a different realm. That doesn't mean that. And when it says in the rapture, when you, we will go up in the clouds and be with the Lord forever, you guys, that's our, that's, you know when Jesus said, like, I will be with you forever, You, I won't make you orphans, he's talking about his spirit, you guys. So when he does take us up in the rapture, and he's going to give us a, a heavenly body, a spirit, but and, and he will be with us forever, but we are going to go, we're going to be in, our bodies are going to be in the millennial reign. So, you guys, we need to be praying. We need to be worshiping him in spirit and in truth. Okay? And you guys put, um, do things, make decisions that are going to give you, that give you more wedding, your more brilliance in your wedding garments, more, you're going to be more adorned with, with ornaments and beautiful things, that's what we want, you guys, and remember, watch, watch doesn't mean, this, you guys, watch does not mean this, okay, I'm watching for the day of the Lord, I just keep watching, no, it doesn't mean that, you guys, it doesn't mean that, so, anyway...